Hey, welcome back to another Raised by Wolves Gaming episode. Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to our channel. Thank you to everyone who is viewing our videos and liking our videos. We really appreciate it. And I know lately some people may have noticed that we've been doing a lot of auto rifle videos and that is because I've been specifically farming those auto rifle bounties trying to get this weapon. And the thing is, RNG Jesus giveth and RNG Jesus taketh away because I was super excited that I finally got one of these to drop and then I took a look at the roll and I was like, uh -huh. Okay, so what I have here is the Red Dot ORES sight. Hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Rifle barrel. Increased range. Slower reload. And life support. Kills with this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health. That is a pretty mediocre roll on what I always thought was a great auto rifle. I accidentally deleted my old Hacken's hatchet when Rise of Iron dropped and I was making room in the vault. I just didn't have it locked and I was essentially deleting everything that was unlocked and got rid of one of my favorite auto rifles. I am super glad that I have one again, but I wish it was as good as my old one. From an aesthetic standpoint, I think it looks great, but this new roll I'm not too sure about. Haven't used it at all yet. But I've been having a lot of fun in Rift lately, so I'm going to jump into Rift with my brand new, old Hacken's Hatchet. Rift. Bravo team. Okay, well, even though this Hacken's Hatchet doesn't have much stability, it does have a lot of range, and since we're on a pretty much long range map, I guess this could be decent. Oh, no, 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 not if I'm trying to hide from a mighty multi tool. We're in the lead. See ya. Mother There we go. Gotta get used to that sight for a second. But we got the spark and we're gonna run away. Running, running, running. Run the spark. It's four on four, not sure how sure how far I'm gonna get. Go team, help me out. Can I get it there? Oh yeah. Here's one. Uh, wow. Nice jumping snipe. I can't say anything negative about that. Uh oh. Oh! Double kill with the grenade. Nice. I was trying to use that hip fire on the uh, Titan there. Didn't seem to work at all for me. Never been a big fan of hip fire on anything except uh, the fact that it's a perk on Plan C. Which is one of my all-time favorite fusion rifles. You must protect your runner. It feels like uh, we dunked it there, Chief. Hey, we got a kill, and... <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Hey, alright. Took that guy out. Got nothing from an energy drain standpoint, but uh, we're going to be all right. Got another kill. Let's back off a little. Oh, sorry. Well, we mercied them. I'm dead. It's all right. We already won, dude. We already mercied you. I don't care if I die. Yay. Let's shoot the three and deuce out. So I find it interesting that for the majority of that match, it was 4v4. They added two more people to each team at the very end. Four more people that want to play the game. And then the match ends and they break up the teams. So now we got to sit here and wait for another match to start and find more people. Again, one of the, one of the faults I find with the way matchmaking is done. If people don't want to stick around after a mercy, they should just go ahead and leave. But if you have people that want to stick around and play and not wait to queue, you should allow them to just stick around. At least those are my thoughts. What do I know? I just play the game. I don't design it. Whatever. Rift. Alpha team. All right. Rift on Vertigo. One of my favorite maps, personally. I always seem to do reasonably well on this one. Hey! First blood. Uh... While I'm thinking about it, I also have to mention the fact that this black and yellow with the chroma and the colors, pretty dope. I like it. Oh, two. I can't challenge two right now. Just can't challenge two. I'm too weak. 
going to back off. Let them just waste all their grenades. And <laughs> let him fall off the map. Oh no! No! Help me! Hey, good. I needed that. I needed that kill to restore my health. Oh, spawn kill. I'm sorry. They've defeated your spark runner. Oh no! I just had the five kill streak and then you do this to me. You know, I tell you what, I I was disappointed that I didn't have good stability perks, but the range perk on this thing with rifle barrel is actually coming through for me. I like it. I think we're gonna do this. Just because we can. Oh, enemy runner. Boo. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's that's not fair. I'll back off. That's not fair. Stop the runner. I'm just spamming, spamming, spamming. <laughs> uh, what? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Spark's available, guys. Anybody want to take it? I do not. But I would love it if one of my teammates does. That would be dope. Nice. Oh, I got stuck. Real oh, I hate stickies. In my brain, I can intellectualize why people would want to use stickies, but in my heart, flip and hate them. Well, apparently, the Hacken's Hatchet is the Mercy Machine. Alright, well, we field tested it, and it is confirmed. You use the Hacken's Hatchet, you mercy everybody every time. I mean, it has a 100% success rate for me right now in year 3. But that being said, this particular role, I don't know. I mean, maybe just the base stats plus the rifle barrel are good enough for me right now. Because I'm used to using this style of auto rifle. I used it all through year 2 and year 3. Um, maybe somebody can give me some tips in the comments about how to best use hip fire. I've never really found it beneficial to me on an auto rifle, but maybe it's just because I'm not using it right. So if you have some thoughts on that, I'd really love to hear them. But what I'm going to do is jump back into some more rift and hopefully dominate once again with this Hacken's Hatchet. Rift. Alpha team. 